Hello, hello everyone, good afternoon. Today I want to talk about uh, works and if they are necessary. So I hear a lot of people, they say um, it's not a workspace faith and they like to use the thief on the cross as a representation of how all we need is faith and faith alone is what saves you. And yes, faith in Jesus Christ does save you and he did it all and um, his blood is enough for sure, 100%. But works and faith go hand in hand, right? So the thief on the cross didn't have time to even show any works from his faith, right? He accepted Christ on basically his deathbed. He asked him, he believed in him and who he was and asked him to be in the kingdom. And Jesus said, yes, you will be there. Um, so in a case like that, yeah. But in a case where you accept Christ, as in let's say uh, 20 years later you pass away and you have nothing to show for, nothing in your life to show uh, your faith, then that's a problem. And I will say also on your deathbed or someone's deathbed, when you do accept Christ, it has to be a genuine, and he will know, because he knows our hearts, so it has to be genuine. Make sure that accepting Christ, you are genuine, and you're not just saying it just because uh, you don't want to go to hell. You have to actually believe in who he is. Um, but I wanted to um, start off with the scripture, uh, Romans 6, and I do have another scripture that I want to read, but I'm going to start with this one, 6, 1, 2, 4, yeah. So, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Certainly not. How shall we who died to sin live any longer in it? Or do you not know that as many of, of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we were buried with him through baptism into death, that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so, we should walk in newness of life okay so he's saying for you to become new everything is to become new so you, all the simple ways and all the things you used to do it all should be passing away as you get closer and closer to Christ and that is the faith and work going hand in hand right because your works will show your faith so I have another scripture I wanted to read which is James, let me see, James 2, 14 to 26. So I did want to read this passage so you could get the fullness of it. Um, it's not the full two, like whole thing, but anyways, 14 to 26, I want to read that. So um, what does it profit, my brethren, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister is naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, but you, but you do not give them the things which are needed for the body, what does it profit? Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works and by works faith was made perfect and the scripture was fulfilled which says Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness and he was called the friend of God you see then that a man is justified by works and not by faith only likewise was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way for as the body without the spirit is dead so without works is dead also so faith without works is dead also so 
I know that was a lot, but he was saying, just believing alone, the, the demons, they know, they tremble, they know, they know who Christ is, so do they get saved? No, he says, like, they go hand in hand. If you don't have uh, faith and works together, it's, your faith is dead. It's, it doesn't profit anything, and it's not to, to, to just gain something like, oh, you have to do works and this and that. No, it's not like, a, like something like, oh, you better do this, you better do that. It's something that's natural. It's natural when when you follow Christ and these things just naturally come because he's filling you up with your with his Holy Spirit and that is how you become a new creation. That is how your works come about and that is how you are able to help your neighbor out. Not just, um, he was saying, not just a prayer. If you have something and someone is asking you for something and you have it and you don't help them, that he doesn't want you to do that. He says, don't just pray for them, but actually help them if you can. If you can't, then prayer alone, obviously, prayer is a great thing. Pray for them. But if you can help people, help them. Um, like he says, uh, be careful of how you entertain strangers because, you know, some of them are angels. There's, I don't know how uh, the scripture is exactly. I don't want to just paraphrase. I hate paraphrasing. But you guys should know what I'm talking about. If not, look it up on Google. You could definitely find the scripture. But, yeah. I just wanted to make sure that you guys know that faith and works go to hands in hands and it's not one without the other. If you just have works and without faith, then like I said in one of my other videos, your good works alone are not good enough and you can't go to heaven with that. And if you have faith without works, your faith is dead because your work should show your faith.